In this video, we're going to be looking at a part two cue card for the IELTS speaking test. Now, the cue card we're looking at is actually connected in a way to the last video that I uploaded. In that video, we were thinking about ways of building vocabulary. And of course, I used this task card we're going to look at in this video, in that video, to think about how we could build vocabulary in the topic area that that task card was looking at. Now, of course, we're going to be using some of that vocabulary in our plan for the task card we're looking at. Now, of course, if you remember, the task card was this one to describe an interesting TV program you watched about a science topic. Now, this type of task card is one that often makes people panic a bit when they get something like this. They'll think, oh, they don't really have any idea about what to talk about. So that's why it's good in your preparation time to be building up ideas to talk about things like this. And if you think you haven't really watched a TV program about a science topic that was interesting, well, maybe you should think about trying to watch some documentaries that might interest you. And if they're in English, then, well, even better because it's going to help you with your listening skills and maybe also help you to build up some vocabulary. But of course, in this video, I'm going to give you my ideas for answering this cue card that we have here and we're going to go through each kind of cue one by one. You can see there are four cues on that cue card and we'll think about each one one by one and get some ideas down in that order. Of course this is not the only way that you can plan for part two of the IELTS speaking test. There are other ways. You don't have to follow those cues that they give you but I just think it's a good way to structure your speaking and help you to expand on each of those ideas one by one. So let's have a look at the task card and think about the ideas that I have for each of those cues. So of course, straight away, they ask what science topic this program was about. So you've got to come up with this idea when you're in the test as quickly as you can. Of course, if you're just planning at home, you've got more time to think about it and do some research. For me, the program that I found interesting was a program called Wonders of the Universe. So it's a science documentary focused on cosmology and astronomy. Now, I'm just going to write down there the title of the program, which was Wonders of the Universe. And of course, when I'm speaking, when I give the full answer, I'll expand on that as much as I can. And of course, we're not really finished with that yet, because later we'll be thinking about maybe some extra vocabulary that we can use when we're describing that program. And we'll be trying to use some of the vocabulary we looked at in the last video. But let's move on to the second cue, which is, which is when you saw this program. So, of course, we've just got to give a time when we saw it. Keep it quite simple. And of course, when we're speaking, we can go into more detail. So really, all I'm going to write down there is several years ago. It was quite a long time ago that I watched this program. So we're going to put down those three words there, nice and simple. And then, of course, when I'm speaking, when I give the full answer, I can expand on that as much as I can. And then we can move on to the third cue, which is what you learn from this TV program about a science topic. Now, there are many things that I learned from this program, but maybe we can write down a couple of ideas here about specific things that the program taught me. And here I can just write down three ideas, time, stars, gravity, all kind of topics related with you know, the science topic of this series. So we've got down there three ideas. And of course, we can expand on them when we're speaking and giving the full answer. 
And that brings us to the fourth and final cue, which is explain why you found this TV program interesting. Now, this type of cue is always asking you about your feelings about something, really. Very often it's an explain why you felt in a certain way. Here it's why you found it interesting. Of course, we already think it's interesting, so we're interested in the show. But, of course, we can give a couple more ideas in our notes here. And I thought it'd be nice to focus on some adjectives to describe the program, and then, of course, we can go into more detail. And I think the two adjectives, beautiful, and thoughtful would be good ones to write down here because of course the images that they show in the TV program are very beautiful and the way they explain things is very thoughtful. And of course I can go into more detail on that when I'm giving the full answer. So there straight away we've got four kind of ideas there to fit with the four cues that we have on the cue card. And of course, when you're speaking, giving the full answer, we'll be expanding on those short notes as much as we can. But by doing this, it gives us a nice structure to our speaking that's following the task card. Like I said, you don't have to do this. You could just talk about the TV program in any way you like. As long as you're speaking about that TV program for the two minutes, then it's fine. But I just feel like it's going to give you a nice structure and help you to move on and talk about different things if you follow those four cues. Now, of course, if you do have a bit more time within that one minute preparation time to write down more than just those kind of four key ideas, you can also have a think about vocabulary that you might want to include when you're speaking and explaining these different ideas. So what I'll do now is just add a bit of vocabulary to each of those ideas that we can use when we're speaking. And the notes will just remind us to include those words and phrases when we're speaking. So if we go to that first one, which was, well, the name of the TV program, Wonders of the Universe. Now, when I'm explaining this, I could explain a few different things. But one main thing could be the person who is hosting the TV show. If you remember in the previous video, we actually found the verb host that is connected with TV programs. And of course, we can probably use the name of the person who is hosting as well. But one of the ideas we could get down there, or bits of vocabulary, is hosted by. And remember to include that when we're speaking. Another thing is the fact that this TV show looked amazing. And I can use the phrase spectacular footage to explain that. So some nice kind of less common vocabulary there that I can include. Spectacular meaning amazing, incredible, very, very positive adjective to describe kind of things that look amazing. And of course, the word footage there, which just means the video images on screen when you're watching the program. So there we go. We've got some vocabulary there that's useful to use when we're describing the TV show. Then if we move down to look at the next one, of course, when you saw this TV program, I said several years ago. And here we might want to include, well, another verb that we found last time connected to TV programs, broadcast. And I could say broadcast by because it was broadcast by the TV channel. Of course, here I'm kind of forcing myself to use passive voice sometimes as well by putting down these two words and including the word by. Um, so there we go. We've used some words that we found when we were expanding and increasing our vocabulary in the previous video. If we look at the third idea there, it was about the things that I learned. Well, time, stars and gravity. And I think here we could just add some more adjectives, because again, this is a describing task, so it's good to use lots of good adjectives to impress the examiner and explain them in more detail. But I think the two adjectives fascinating and breathtaking would be good to use here to describe these things that I've learned. Fascinating, just a synonym of interesting that we found in the previous video and breathtaking to describe what we're seeing as we're watching the TV program. 
So we're almost done there. We've just got the fourth and final idea there where we were explaining why we found the TV program interesting. Of course, we wrote down those two adjectives, beautiful and thoughtful. Now, we don't want to just write down more adjectives. I feel like we've got enough there. So maybe just a bit of detail um, and some extra words to explain how this TV program made me more interested about the topic of space and cosmology. And maybe uh, the two words awaken curiosity. Awaken the verb to make me start thinking about something and curiosity, well, wanting to know about something, just using the noun form there of the adjective curious. So to awaken my curiosity. And that's what this show did. And that's why I found it very interesting. So we've got some vocabulary down there and we've also got our main ideas. Of course, that took us quite a long time to get those things down, but that's because I was explaining them. I think it is realistic to think we can do something like this in that one minute preparation time before you have to speak for two minutes. Not easy, of course, but this is something you have to practice and over time you start to do it quicker and quicker until it's quite simple to do in that one minute they give you in the test. And it's something you have to practice to get good at. Of course, we're also building up ideas. So it's going to make that decision time a bit quicker when the examiner hands you these cue cards. Well, you've got to make sure that you make that decision really quickly and you don't panic. Like I said, a task card like this will often make people panic when they get it because they can't immediately think of an idea. Well, the more preparation you're doing before the test, the more quickly you're going to be able to come up with these ideas and get writing down these short notes. So then you're going to have plenty of ideas to talk about when you've got that two minutes. So there we go. I hope this was useful for you. And of course, in the next video, we'll be looking at the full sample answer for this task card. Um, now, if you did enjoy the video and found it useful, then do remember to click the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any similar videos in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.